Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be pushing some more ladder today. I'll try to get to 8,000 trophies. I'm pretty low right now. Currently, I'm at 79.22, which is, I want to say, like, top 150 to 200. Um, but yeah, it's been a really rough season. Expo is absolutely unplayable. It doesn't matter what variant. It's just, like, really bad in the meta. Um, with that being said, I don't really have the luxury to, like, push in the top 50 anymore. Because even if I peek in there, I'm definitely not going to be able to hold my position. But I will try to get to top 100 this video. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, gonna Valk on defense for that. This guy's playing Hog Xy NATO, which is not really that bad of a matchup. Um, so yeah, for the last two hours, I've been, like, playing different Axpo decks, trying to find out what deck is the best. Um, I thought the Cannon deck was the best, but I kept facing, like, Lava Loon. And when I switched back to, like, Tesla, I kept facing e Giants. so... I don't know, I'm kind of lost. I feel like Axpo is getting progressively harder to play, um, every season. Because it's getting nerfed indirectly every season. Well, it did get a buff. Um, the Archers and the Ice Spirit got a buff last balances, but the Log also got nerfed. Doesn't really make up for it. Um, so yeah, before that, I remember Tessa got a nerf, and then the Expo got an HP nerf. Um, so yeah, a bunch of nerfs in the Expo deck. I'm just waiting for it to get buffed again, but honestly, I don't know if it's gonna ever get buffed. Because I know people in the balance um, team hate the Expo, so like... Um, not calling out shots, but I just know they hate the hex, but just by judging off of the balances. I'm gonna log over here to kind of like make the Axie not hit my Expo. Okay, unfortunate, it kind of like hit my Expo once, so he's gonna be able to log. But, um, right now he has a Valk, Axie, um, Rocket, and Hog Hand, so he's not gonna be able to defend the Bomber and the Fire Spirit. Good thing I knew the Cycle and Elixir, so I was kind of like able to pressure. Um, the Hog was at zero Elixir, so I was able to play a Tesla for defense. Um, double elixir is coming soon, so I can pretty much just like rocket cycle soon. Um, I know he's gonna be trying to like rocket cycle me as well, so I have to kind of watch out. Um, I can't let him kill my expo with the Axie and the Valk. Gonna expo on offense, okay, good timing on the expo because he just played a rocket on my tower. Gonna Valk over here, also gonna bomber. If he goes for like an Axie, I can just log it to like kind of DPS it down. Um, kind of a bad Axie, that's not gonna do anything on max, but I'm gonna log over here to finish it off. Um, he's gonna hog for sure, so I played a Tesla. He's gonna have to distract my, um, old Expo, so I'll play a new one to kind of, like, make him play a new Valk. Um, also gonna Valk on the left over here to apply pressure and block the XE if he wants to go for it. Um, which I think he will. Okay, that was a really good XE. He played it kind of high so that the XE locked on my Expo. Doesn't matter, the my Expo got a lock. I'm also gonna rock it at 6, because I know he's, like, really low on Elixir at the moment. He might have given up, actually. Yeah, I feel like he gave up. He can't do anything in this matchup. Um, I kid you not, this is like my first good matchup in like 10 games. Um, gonna Bomber and then Rocket. Bomber should finish off the game. So yeah, two more games for AK, I think. Shouldn't be that bad. Let's see how much I get from that, though. Probably like 25. 26, I'll take it. Let me check where that puts me, actually. Um, that puts me at... Okay, not bad. Alright, I got a game. Facing Joe no skill. I feel like I face this guy every day. He's playing Giant Sparky Mirror, so here's the thing about this matchup. It might look good on paper because I have a Rocket and he has a Sparky, but this matchup actually sucks. Because um, Sparky's not the problem, it's the Minion Horde. Since I only have a Fire Spirit, I mean, I have to save my Rocket for this Sparky, so like I only have one Air Splash. Um, on top of that, him having a Mirror does not help at all. Like He can always go for like a Minion Horde Mirror and just punish me. If I don't have my um, fire spirit in hand. He also has bats. So those also force out my fire spirit. So I have to kind of watch out here. I have to find a way to not take any damage from the air guards. But I only have one response for all of them. So I'm going to rocket that sparky in the back. Um, I know he's going to mirror sparky in the back. But I cannot go x ball opposite. Because if I do he's going to giant in front of that sparky. And just like tower trade. So instead I'll try to get back to like a second rocket. Um, so I can play it on defense. Not really sure if I can defend though, because um, level 16 Sparky is pretty tanky, it doesn't die to a rocket. So I'm going to try to get some um, Fire Spirit chip and damage it a little. Never mind, the Sparky killed it. Um, hopefully the Bomber gets a hit, so like even if he goes for like a Giant in front, I can just rocket it. He might go for a dual lane pressure, yikes. I was going to say, if he does, that's actually going to be really annoying for me to defend, because I can't really um, find a way to defend this without taking any damage. Um, goes for a zap on the skelly, so he's gonna get a sparky hit on the right. Um, I have to fire spirit for the bat seed. This is what I was talking about. It's like I cannot defend the um, split lane pressure and the air cards. Um, 
Also, if he went for like a prediction arrows on the fire spirit over there on the left, he definitely would have been able to take take my whole tower, but he wasn't smart enough to do that. I'm gonna ask about Tesla because I know he's gonna hoard since he knows I don't have a fireball. So that was a really good Tesla because the Tesla kind of like finished off all the minions. Um, it, it left one alive, so I'm gonna bomb her over here to kind of tank for it because I need my Expo alive. Um, so yeah, once again, that wasn't like a random Expo Tesla. I actually had like good thought process behind it. Um, I see people randomly going Expo Tesla, and that's definitely not a good play. Um, it might have been a good play back in like 2018, 2019, but right now you're definitely gonna get like golden knighted on. Um, Skelly's over here to distract that mini packet so my Val kind of finishes it off. Um, so with that, he is probably going to Sparky because last time we went for a Horde, I definitely played a Tesla to finish off the Horde. So he's probably paranoid. Um, let's see what he does here. Okay, goes for a Mirror Sparky. He had to spend a lot there. Um, he had to spend 13, which is not bad because he's not going to be able to punish me anytime soon. Skelly's to kind of distract it. Um, also gonna Valk to keep my Tesla alive or not? Okay. Um, the Sparky was kind of tanky, so it just kind of ended up killing my Tesla. So I have to get back to another one. But if that stayed alive, I definitely would have pressured even into that mini packet because I know he had a really bad hand. Um, he did have a giant, but I can like easily DPS that down because I was back to the second Tesla. Um, but yeah, plays a Sparky giant opposite lane. I don't understand how that Expo locked on the giant on the opposite lane and not the Sparky on the same lane. Doesn't matter, I'm not complaining, not the end of the world. Um, Tesla over here to kind of like kill that mini packer first so that, um, okay, never mind, it locked on the giant. Unfortunate. Uh oh, I have to watch out here. He has zap in hand, so I might um, lose if I get a drop glitch. Okay, thankfully I didn't. That giant should not get any damage on my tower. It's pretty much dead. Okay. Um, it's gonna be really hard to come back from this spot. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard once again. I'm gonna rock it over here. Did I miss? Okay, thank god. Um, I thought I missed for a second. If I missed, I definitely would have lost there because he would have went for like a giant minion horde and a mirror, but he actually had to mirror the Sparky there. Um, this is not good either because I have to get back to a second rocket to kind of like finish off that Sparky, which means he's going to be able to abuse his minion horde. Um, yeah, I just cycled my fire spirit to have to kind of like rocket on the left over here. Um, minion horde and like bats are so scary when you don't have responses for them. I'm going to fire spirit over here. Um, Valk over here, thank god it didn't shoot on my tower, if it did I definitely would have lost. I'm gonna bomb her over here because he might go for like a zap on the skellies. Um, I'm gonna BM a little, that was so annoying. Um, 591 is rocket damage, so that's definitely GG's. I'm really proud of that one, let's see how much I get. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, I'm one game off 8000, so I'll try my best on this one. Gonna bomb her in the back to cycle. Um, play spare gobs. My first guess is mortar. Could be any variant, honestly, but I hope it's not minion horde. Okay, never mind. You went for a drill, so it's gonna be that one golden knight deck with poison, snowball, wall breakers, and a bunch of stuff. Um, the matchup's kind of a pain in the butt, even though I have a lot of response for the drill because I can't get damage. Um, doesn't matter how good I defend. I just can't get through like a golden knight. Also, the expo is kind of bad. Um, I forgot he had bats, so I kind of fed him like a free Valk. Um, I'm gonna log over here to finish off the spare gobs. Um, so that means he probably does not have wall breakers, because I thought he had wall breakers instead of bats, but since he played the bats, he probably does not have the wall breakers. Um, pretty good defense on my part over there. I could have played the bomber on the um, drill and uh, just played the skellies on top of the fire spirit, but I chose to not do that because I feel like that was the best thing I could have done there. Um, placement wise I feel like I could just like play a bomber into that fire spirit to keep it alive and just like play skellies to not take any hits um, not really sure if that made sense um, but yeah I'm gonna test on the middle here don't really have an option because even if I go in he's just gonna be able to like golden knight poison activate ability and my expo's dead um, play spare gobs to kind of pull my valk in the middle because he kind of played a bad lock to like push it away doesn't matter though um, plays bats in the back. Okay, he just played a lock, so he's not going to be able to kill my, um, fire spirit. If he supports it, I'm definitely going to fire spirit. Okay, never mind. He didn't support it, so I'm going to axe on the right side. Valk over here. Um, golden knight cannon. Hopefully my Valk kind of, like, splashes onto that cannon. I hope so, at least. Fire spirit over here to kind of distract that cannon for a little bit longer, because I need some damage here. Um, oh, I could have reacted to that with a bomber, but I'm pretty slow. Um, and I also kind of misplaced that, so I'm going to take some damage on the left. Um, my reaction timing is really slow. I need to work on it. Anyways, going to test on defense here. 
Um, I'm actually going to log over here. I'm not going to play a Valk. I was initially going to play a Valk, but if I did, I wouldn't be able to like kill the drill really fast, which means the bats would have been on my tower. Um, that was a really good prediction on his part. He also played Spare Gobs on the left to kind of get damage at the same time. So yeah, once again, really good sequence on his part. Um, going to test on the middle. I'm not even going to be mad if I lose this because I'm making a lot of misplays. And I'm kind of letting him predict me, which is not good. Um, I feel like I'm still in this though. I have plenty of time to make up for it. Not really the end of it. So I'm going to rock it on offense here. Um, he's probably going to be playing his first poison on offense. Yep, there it is. Um, he's like one card off drill, I think. He's definitely back to drill by now, but he's not playing it. Gonna fire spirit to kind of finish off the bat. Um, wish I had my second Valk back, because I'm definitely not going to be able to get any damage. He kind of went overkill with that cannon, because I'm not going to be able to defend Max, even if he didn't go for that cannon. So, Valk over here, this is also really good poison for him, so he might go for it. Um, yeah, he does go for it. So I'm going to Axe in the middle, because he also played a poison and a drill. Um, and he also logs, so that's like 10 elixir. Gonna bomber over here to kind of finish off that cannon, hopefully. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm not getting any damage. Well, I got a few hits, but definitely not um, worth it. Or definitely not like what I expected to get because he got a lot of damage, and I was kind of hoping to get like the same same amount of damage, but unfortunate. Um, that should die to my Valk. I'm gonna log over here to kind of like predict the spare gobs now because. Um, sorry, I went, meant to say Bomber because I played a log, so like it was pretty obvious he was going to spare gobs. I'm going to keep spamming my expos. I feel like that's my only option at the moment. I also meant to play the skellies in the middle to like kite the fire spirit, but misplaced once again. I don't know what's happening to me, but it's okay. Um, bomber over here. They should die to my Bomber. Okay. Got a tiny lock. I also rocketed, so that's like two rockets, I think. I hope at least. I have to log on defense here. Um, I feel like I should have played a Valk on defense and like logged on offense because I'm not really sure. I don't know my spell damage, so I have to be careful. I'm gonna fire spirit on defense over here. I'm also gonna log and uh, skellies to defend. Um, uh oh, I'm not back to a log. Okay, that was a really bad rocket. I choked the game with that. Um, if I just like defended that drill at the end with like a Tesla to shove. I definitely would have been able to win, but it's okay. All right, I got a game facing Denisito. He's a bit lower than me, but it's okay. I don't mind because I feel like I have a really good matchup here. Though I wish I had a fireball for the wizard because I know that card's going to be pretty annoying, but it's okay. I have plenty of other responses. Oh yeah, by the way, he's playing Giant Skelly Hog triple spell with a knight and a wizard. Um, sort of like an off meta deck, but he's been playing this deck for years, so I have to kind of watch out. He's really good with this deck gonna valk low over here um he might go for like a wizard to snipe my um valk if he does it i'm straight up gonna rock it over here because i don't want to take the risk of playing a tesla and like him having nato the valk into my tesla to kind of like kill my tesla and go for like a hawk to get a lot of damage so yeah um i am down three elixir though because of that because i had to rock it but if i didn't rock it i definitely would have lost the game by now because um once again he would have been able to like kill my tesla with that nato and uh just go for a hog in front of that wizard um just gonna test over here on defense because he went for a hog and uh he's one card off giant skelly with that so i'm actually gonna axe bow um i know he can easily get back to it by just playing like a skarmy or something but um still worth it to kind of like pressure because i know he's at one elixir right now so i'll try to like dps down the giant skelly right now um i have a feeling he's gonna fireball once he has enough so i'm just gonna log over here to kind of dps it down i um, hoping to get like a tiny lock, like a tiny one, please. Okay, I got one hit. <laughs> sure, man, I'll take it. Why not? Um, the fire spirit's going to jump because I know he's a pretty awkward hand. He has a knight, wizard, fireball, and a nato, so he can't really like waste anything on that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm up elixir or down elixir, but I'll let him make the first play. Actually, I'm going to bomber the back because I feel like if I bait out like a fireball, I'm definitely going to be able to rock it. Okay, never mind. He gave me a really good rocket anyway, so I'm going to take it. I'm um, not really worried about the defense at this moment because double elixir just started. So I'm going to Valk over here to tank for the bomber. Um, really good log timing on his part. But also really bad um, giant skelly timing on his part. He could have been able to like save his wizard, but he actually played a really bad giant skelly. So he was not able to. Um, 
honestly if he did that i probably would have had to like rock it on defense but i'm just glad he didn't like um place that on time anyway it's gonna log over here to kind of like dps it down i'm um, also gonna defensive expo because i feel like i need one goes for a wizard in the back i can't really punish that play um hold on he might not go for a giant skelly okay i'm gonna rock it over here because i feel like if he went for a giant skelly in front of that i would have had to defend but since he didn't i can just like rock it on offense um fire spirit over here to kind of like force out like a knight or something yeah it does go for a knight so my bomber is going to kind of take care of that this time i'm going to play my expo in the middle so i kind of like pulse the hog when i needed to um i'm going to predict the hog here actually oh i should have done it um i kind of backed out as soon as i said it because um i didn't think he would hog but he actually played the hog late so i'll try to predict the hog next time with a rocket because i know if i hit that prediction i am definitely going to be up a lot of damage um or or i meant to say elixir not damage because i'm already up a lot of damage so i'm definitely going to be up a lot of elixir and i can just go for like an axe ball opposite lane or i can just get back to like a second rocket but yeah pretty good defense on my part over here i'm gonna try to predict it now though okay sick i hit it this time but i have to log over here um to kind of like finish off that hog because everything was on the giant skelly somehow um so yeah like i said since i hit that really nice rocket i'm gonna axe ball on offense He's going to knight. I know that for a fact. He's back to giant skelly, so he's probably going to go for it. Um, yeah, he does go for it. Going to bomber over here to like force out like a fireball so I can just rocket him once again for no reason. Because why not? Um, yeah, he's just going to rocket. Honestly, I kind of feel bad. He can't punish my rockets. Um, not in triple and double anyways, but in single, it's like a really bad play. Which is why I hold on till double to like kind of throw my first rocket um plays a knight that's not really gonna do anything on the opposite lanes so i'm gonna rocket over here to predict the hog once again um i did that twice by now and he still hasn't caught up to it or maybe he just doesn't care like he's just like spamming things but yeah um okay looks like he gave up so i'm gonna bomber over here and then rocket the bomber should be able to finish off that tower um i'm not gonna get much from that probably like 22 but let's see um 25 okay i'll take it Alright, I got a game. I'll try my best to win this because I'm once again one game off 8,000 trophies. Facing Future, um, I know this guy's an E-Giant player, but he kind of plays like an off-meta E-Giant deck. He's got Skelly King, Ewiz, Fisherman. I think he also has like an Eye Drag. So it's pretty heavy. Should be winnable if I play it right. Um, I'm going to log over here. Log could have been better. That got a hit on my Tesla, but it's okay. Um, he's probably not going to feel safe playing an E-Giant in single. I'm just going to bomber in the back for that Skelly King. This matchup is kind of weird because we're just like both waiting for each other. Um, what I meant to say is like he's waiting for me to play Expo so he can punish me. But at the same time, I'm also waiting for him to play the E-Giant so I can punish him with an Expo. So it's kind of like um, we're just like cycling cards in single um, till one of us makes like a big play in double. So yeah, I'll try to get some chip. Um, plays a bomber in the middle, so that's going to mitigate all the damage. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna log on the left over here. He also kind of played a fisherman into that, so not bad. Gonna test on the middle because he can't really punish it. Um, all he can do is try to like lightning my Tesla, but if he does go for it, I'm gonna axe spawn offense and just win the game. Um, because I have a Valk for this Skelly King, so he can't really do anything about that. Um, Skelly's over here to not take any damage from the Ewas because I want to keep my Tesla alive for as long as possible. Um, if he does the same thing again, like I drag with the Skelly King, I'm definitely going to rock it, but let's see. Um, he's not really making a play. Okay, he played the I drag, but he kind of played it late and all the way down low, so I'm not going to rocket it. Um, I'm just going to play a second Tesla. Um, if my tower does not lock on that I drag, I have to play a bomber to kind of lure that into my Tesla. Okay, never mind. My tower locked on it, so I don't have to do anything for it. Um, just going to log over here for that bomber. Plays a Fisherman. Um, double elixir is coming soon. I feel like I can randomly rocket his tower and get away with it. Um, I'm just joking. I'm getting crazy thoughts because the game was going too slow. But played an E-Giant in the back. So I'm going to try to kill that um, Skelly King. I'll try to get a lock here. This is like my only option because uh, I can't really play a Tesla in the middle and not play the Valk over there. I did have to play a Tesla in the middle for the E-Giant though. But I can't play the Tesla first. Which wouldn't have been a bad play, because, I mean, I get back to a Tesla faster, but I just wanted to play the Valk first. Um, to not take any damage on my Expo. Gonna, um, Tesla in the middle again, because I feel like it's a really safe play. And once again, he has the Lightning to get it off the field. 
which is a win-win for me because when he goes for a lightning i'm definitely going to be able to like expo on offense um i feel like this is where he goes for like a lightning on my tesla if i'm not wrong because he kind of has to yeah i gave him really good lightning so he took it um let's see if he pops the ability nope he did not pop the ability um ghost friend you is i feel like this is game right here because i'm gonna log over here um bomber should die nice okay that was a really good log because i kind of hit the fisherman as well while it was on the way to the expo um because it just kind of like hooked on my expo and i logged so nice that um it got hit midway not really sure what i said there even i could not make sense of that so just ignore that i was kind of focusing on the game but yeah i got a really good rocket i tried to get a lock here but i failed it's okay i got a lot of damage i can just afford to like play defense now and just rocket cycle if i have to um but yeah mostly i'm just gonna play it safe tessa in the middle um plays an e-giant so he's probably gonna try to like lightning my tessa but i'll try to get back to a second one um kind of a weird eye drag if i have to say because that's not really gonna kill my tesla you probably thought it was gonna kill my tesla but the valk actually helped out a lot she also did a lot of damage on the right side oh my god the valk is putting in some work um 1190 is just two rockets and one log right um hopefully it is because i just played a rocket okay oh, yeah, it definitely is um i don't want to choke the game like i did versus chris lion because i didn't know my spell damage but anyway it's gonna rocket over here and that is game um, that should definitely put me at 8k, so I'm probably going to end the video after this. Let me see where that puts me, though. 25. Okay, that game put me at 8,000 trophies, but I'm barely inside of top 100, so I'll go for one more. Um, this guy was in my clan, but he just left, and he made the clan snipe, so he probably tried to snipe me. Um, he's playing E-Giant Sparky Mirror. He's a really good matchup here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That was a really bad Sparky. Um, I'm gonna bomber on defense. I'm actually gonna axe ball on the left because I know he's really low. So I'm also gonna skellies over here. Um, hopefully I timed this fire spirit right. Okay, nice. I managed to distract one hit and do some damage on that mech minion. So Maxwell's gonna stay alive. What a dumbass, bro. Why would you play Sparky in single? This matchup is so free as long as you just like, I don't know, not play the Sparky in single. But I feel like this guy lost. Um, he could still try to go for like an E-Giant in the back and like mirror a second one. Um, which I think is what he's about to do here because he went for an E-Giant at the bridge. I'm not going to let him do that though. I'm going to Axe in the middle all the way up high. Um, before he has enough for like a mirrored E-Giant. Uh, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> he's so slow. Oh my god. He let my Axe lock on once again. Um, even though he had 8 Elixir in hand this time, he actually just like let it lock on because he's too slow. Um, E-Giant players cannot react for anything, man. Um, I'm not even joking, like, they have no game sense. Um, sorry if you play E-Giant, I just, like, hate E-Giant players. Anyways, um, I'm gonna BM a lot. This guy sniped me and he's currently losing by a lot. Um, Fire Spirit over here to cycle. What? Bro, how are you at 8k? How is this guy allowed to be at 8k? Um, it's so unfair because I'm having to, like, grind my ass to get to 8,000 trophies. Um, beat like all sorts of golden knight matchups and this guy just like randomly goes sparky at the bridge um, a bit frustrating um, but it's okay bomber in the back on the right side because he played a mega minion on the left he's probably gonna e-giant on the left um, okay never mind he played it on the right side so i have to kind of like defensive expo here because um, i know he's gonna have two e-giants in a second so i have to kind of watch out don't want to die to a level 16 e-giant so i'll try to get back to two teslas right about now um bomber over here skelly's on the right side i need to know what lane the golden knight goes down on so i can like play good defense tesla over here okay golden knight is on the left so i have to valk kind of like over here um because i don't want the valk doing any damage to the e giant i just want the valk to like defend the um sorry went a bit quiet there is that golden knight gonna take my whole tower Okay, now I'm fine, I'm fine. That got a bit scary because the golden I dashed on my tower, but what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I didn't want the Valk to lock on the E-Giant because um, I just needed it to like kind of stall that um, golden knight for a bit. But yeah, oh my god, imagine choking this matchup. Could not be me. But yeah, that should put me in like what, like top 60 I think because I was top 84. Um, so yeah, let me check. Okay, that puts me at... Uh Whoa, top 50? Not bad. Don't forget to like and sub. Hope you enjoy the video and peace. Love you guys.